Welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are going to be talking about what is the best pH for catfish in your farm. And what are the effects of um, pH in your catfish in your farm? For those of us who doesn't know what is pH, pH is the acidic or the alkaline nature of water that your catfish is living in. Um, if you've never subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you have any problem in your farm, simply do a two to three minutes video of this problem and send it to me. When I look at this thing, I will be able to help you out and solve your problem free of charge. Kindly remember that you do these videos when you are feeding. It gives me an overview of exactly what is the problem of your catfishes. And don't forget, we don't have any WhatsApp group. We're not forming any group. I will never ask you to pay money to join any whatsapp group i'll be right back to discuss this welcome back so like i said what we're discussing today is what is the best ph for your catfish farm now let me explain what pH is. pH is um, the level of acidity or the level of alkalinity of your catfish. So, if the level of the uh, acidic nature of the pond is too high, it's very dangerous to the catfishes. Sometimes you discover that in your pond, your fishes will start standing. But I have done videos where I try to explain some other reasons why your catfishes stand. Sometimes the standing of the catfishes will be to aid digestion. It happens when the fishes are very small. Then sometimes they stand because it's hard water or the oxygen level in the water is very low. And sometimes it happens when the acidic nature of the pond is too high. So they still grasp for air and um, see a situation to survive. But there are cases where your fishes start dying because of you know the acidic nature of your pond and this happens when the acidic nature is too high so your fishes will start dying so now the question is what is the best uh water ph for your catfish that will make them to be okay stable and grow to what you want them to grow without having to pass through the process of death or you finding a way to treat it and stuff like that now if you notice anything in your pond, it's always advisable to go and get what we call pH testing kit. Now, pH testing kit is sold anywhere they sell water treatment plants. If you go to the market that is close to you and ask that you are looking for people that sell chemical, when you meet people that sell chemical, tell them you are looking for chemical they use to test water, to test the acid level of the water. If they don't have, they are going to direct you to another market where you may likely get it. It is people that sell chemical that basically sell this. Some people sell chemical they use for grass clearing, they sell it. And some people treat water plant treatment chemicals. That's where people that do borehole and everything buy stuffs from. So they actually sell it. But in case you look for all these things and you did not know where to get it, now look for a drilling house near you, people that do water borehole you can actually put it on google google will tell you where you can get a driller next to you go and ask the driller or you go and ask a plumber because this is something that people always ask me where do they buy i'm not living in your city i can't i can't be living everywhere so ask a plumber where you can get ph tester if the plumber says he doesn't know ask him where you can get ke chemicals that you use to treat water plumbers deal with water so they will direct you when you get to that place, tell those people you are looking for a kit used to test your water. Having said that, when you get this kit, it's always good. It's handy. It's not that expensive. So just price. Don't ask me the price. You can actually put it online, online and you know because I don't sell. So I don't care about the price, but I'm just telling you. So when you get, buy this thing, you now how to test. There are different pH testers. There are some that how to test is that water that your fish is living in. You scoop that water and put it in a glass. Now, each pH kit tester is going to give you colors. And on these colors, there's going to be number at the top of these colors. 
that number is actually the range of what that color is. So if you scoop the water from the pond, the tester that you have, put it inside the tester, it, the water will uh, wet that particular color. Then you look at the range. But if you don't understand it, it's okay. Do it and send to me. I will read it for you because I've been doing that for many people. So you can, that's, that's, that's one part of pH tester. So there's another pH tester that what it does is they will tell you to scoop out the water from the pond, then add the thing inside. It will turn the, it will react with the water you already scooped out and put in a cup. It will react and change to a color. So that color it changes to. You now look at the guide they gave you and read it. Like I said, if you can't read it, just show me. I will be able to read it for you. Okay. So what is the best pH for your catfish? The best pH for your catfish is from 6.5 to 7.5 max. In some cases, if your pH is about 6, it will still work for your catfishes. But the best range is from 6.5 to 7.5 max. If it goes below like 5, uh, five points and all these things, that means it, it is down to alkaline. Then if it goes higher, anything above so like from eight above that means the water is acidic your catfishes will die in droves now when this thing happens when this thing happens people ask oh what do we use to uh, treat this i will be honest with you it's difficult to fight nature why this water comes from a supply supply base now if the acidic level is high and you use because there are things people use you can add baking powder to it to the water to bring it down so people still use the baking powder as the reverse to raise it i'm just saying what i have seen work for people but the problem is this when you put this thing and test it and it is normal anything can spike that same water for the ph to go high so if you check this thing and it is high, my honest advice to you is look for another place and do your catfish. It simply means that that water in that place will not work for you. Don't be stubborn. Don't think that there is a way out. Highest thing people will tell you is add this inside the water. But the truth is that because the source is bad, it means that every time you have to keep checking this water to make sure that it's okay, to make sure that it's okay. So anytime you do not check it and there's a spike, your fishes may die. If your fishes don't die, let's say the thing drops and they did not die and they are looking for a way to get uh, their self. What is going to affect is that it's going to affect the production. So you can do everything you will do and your fishes will not still grow well. So what is the point? This is what I tell people, don't fight nature, but it's good. You test your water to know where the problem is. But where you now know that the problem is the water source. Water being the primary thing you use in raising your catfish. The best advice is look for another place. Do not stay there to keep on fighting that uh, fight. You will lose. Because one, if you don't lose, you will think that everything is working fine, but your fishes may never grow well. Even if they are not dying, they may never grow well. That's the bad thing about this water um, pH. So like I said, the best water pH for you is from 6.5 to 7.5. And mostly I tell people, if you don't have pH, a pH tester, but the water you are drinking doesn't have any effect on you, well, you can put your catfishes there. Except when you notice that there is a foul play or that the catfishes are acting somehow. Quickly go and test it. So if there's anything I have said now that you don't understand, kindly use the comment section. And if there's anything you want me to come here and discuss, kindly use the comment section. And if your catfishes are having any problem, simply do a two to three minutes video and send to me. I would help you out free of charge. Until I come your way next time, my name is Emily Fong, Noel Oge of Fioros Farm. Keep farming.